Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Outlook. In this module, I want to have a look at you can, how you can automatically color up appointments and color up email or messages from different people, color them with different colors. So first of all, let's go into the calendar and we've got a calendar here. Um, just delete that appointment. So what I want to do is basically just go forward a bit because I'm in last week. So I've got two appointments here, both colored red, but both done in slightly different ways. This one is colored red because I've got conditional formatting to say anything with training in it, go red. This one is colored red because I've act, uh, allocated a category to it, which is red. So I'll just show you how that works and then I'll do it. So if I double click and call it training, and then put a location leads, save and close, straight away it goes red. Now if I do that again, double click, um, I'll put Excel, location leads, and training. Now let's see what happens. So training is not in the title, it still goes red. Because what I've got that one set up to do is if it sees the word training in the title or the body of the text go red now this one so i'll do another one if i just create this one um i'm not going to use the word training so i'll do a word course in leads i'm going to use the categories so i've got categories already set up but if, if i show you how to do that you go to all categories you change one of these to something else so green category you just rename that um, i've already got admin so let's go for finance finance and then you can change the color on that to be a bit more let's go for that color orange tick okay and then when i save and close that one it comes up with that color now that is me manually doing that it's so using categories now how have i set this one up so if i go into the appointment And training that's what the trigger word is so what that is that's set up in views so I close this down for a second I'll go to the view tab and then view setting it's under conditional formatting so there's training but so now I'll do one for finance so if I click add and call this finance and set the color to the amber color so it's going to be automatic and then the condition is search for the word finance in the subject field or the notes field. That'll do. You've got other options there. Look, you can tick these on and off and you can select different fields and fill your boots. I'm just going to keep it simple and click OK, OK, and then OK. So now instead of using categories if i double click onto this and um let's see what can i say here um admin in leads and then finance meet meeting let's say that save and close it's picked up the word finance in the body of the meeting so it's automatically colored up so that's how you can set up conditional formatting on appointments, which, which stops you needing to um, categorize manually using um, the categories, which is, this is what I prefer. Now on email, you can do the similar sort of thing. So if I send myself an email, just send it to myself with training in the title and send, and then receive it automatically colors up red like so and i've also got one set up for youtube comments so if people send a comment to me normally youtube sends an email and i've just noticed um, recently that i missed a lot of comments so i don't know how that happened but now i won't miss them because i've got them coming in in a different color to this and big and bold so if i miss them i'm, I'm it's my own fault Again, you set this up through views. So you go view, view settings, 
and you've got conditional formatting again and you've got quite a few preset ones here all right you can see youtube and if i if i look at the font so i've got this coming in navy blue and i'll make it bold actually so it comes in navy blue and bold okay training the one you just saw is coming in um normal it says there but i'm going to put that on bold which is bold that looks bold to me um you can set this up however you want it to be so i've got bigger there so that's huge now okay 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 so that's coming like that now once you click off that and it's been read it just goes back to the to the normal size and if I put this as markers on red, it goes back to the red color. Now, how have I done this? So let's create one for finance. So same sort of thing, conditional formatting, um, add. So I'm going to call this finance. And then the font I want it to go is going to be the same color as I picked before. If I can, I can't, it's not there. So I'll have to pick a yellow is probably nearest to it. And I'll have it bold and big. That yellow's not great. I'm not picking yellow. Um, let's try maroon. Too similar to black. Grey, silver. Okay, that's okay. I can handle that one. Okay. And then the condition you have to set is you're looking for the word finance in the subject field or the message body. That's what I'm going to set it for. You can also set up who the email's from. So YouTube, I could have put YouTube in there. Um, their reply email sent to me. Yeah, that'll do for now. Click OK. Click OK again. OK again. Now if I send myself another email, and this time put finance in it. So just address it to me. Subject finance. Test, send, receive, comes in grey, that's pretty easy to see that grey, it is on this grey back, background, so the fact it's such a different colour, it does stand out, and again I could have set that to be bigger again, so normal emails are going to come in small, these ones are going to come in huge, and I should have set that one to be bigger, bigger than that, so it's the same size as this, but basically that's how you set up um, your email messages to change color depending on keywords or from people and how you set your appointments to automatically color up again set on keywords or um, keywords in the title or keywords in the in the body of the text right so quite like that color but you couldn't have that for emails that's all I want to talk about on this little session, so hopefully you've enjoyed that, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.